going an extra mile is very very important just repeating what you are doing won't change anything at all at all the transformation has to come and actually that never comes from uh all because of one individual meaning your guru or just grace or just blessing it's a it's like a trinity it's a ishwara's grace guru's grace and your effort three things together what is ishwara grace receiving a human body is a ishwara grace meeting a guru ishwara grace but even after meeting the guru remaining a duffer you are being hard on yourself then so eating food is not important having food is not important having food eating food then digesting the food assimilating the nutrients in your body then the whole process gets completed so listening to the food of gyana is one thing that is i am presenting the food to you now my question is are you going to digest this or not are you are just going to vomit it or omit it not registering not holding to the information tight and strong and not using your um intelligence to absorb the in, this this highest knowledge this is a sign of not digesting the knowledge so once you omit or vomit this knowledge well you remain the same idiotic person without any change without any transformation and then one wonders why i am not changing why things are not changing oh it's my destiny not to change it's foolish thing to say that absolutely foolish thing ishwar grace guru grace and then your grace onto yourself just you 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 check what's missing you check what's missing so once in a while i like for example i say do a mantra anushthana mantra anushthana mean you pick a mantra then you select how many times you will do how many rounds of mala you will do you know the tradition is 125 lakh 125000 now whether you finish it in 31 days then you will be sitting 4 hours if it is like a five five word mantra no you want to finish it in 40 days you will do 30 rounds of mala each day morning evening same time do it every every day without fail no excuse you will come to know are you able to fulfill that one mantra anushthan observing that same time repeating the same mantra for, for that number of times most of the people they won't be successful they will break it first week second week maybe third week uh, then they regret oh it's so difficult i can't do it so i always say don't go for a high leap jump maybe take a smaller jump maybe make a resolve that for next 15 days i'll sit half an hour do my mantra not missing it even once and if i miss i don't eat make that pact if i don't do mantra i don't eat if i do mantra i eat but man can be very very deceptive so people find ways to break the rules and then justify it also oh this happened oh that happened oh this happened and the best excuse is god doesn't want me to progress <laughs> our guru ji is not giving me enough blessings if i had right blessings i would have done it 
Guruji is playing partial game. So very strong resolve to change doesn't come without vairagya, without this passion. And this passion cannot happen until you break your bad habits, bad conditionings, bad goals which you have set for your life. You have set it, not somebody else. Marriage is a commitment, child is a commitment, job is a commitment. So you fulfill those commitments with great heart, mind and intensities. But for sadhana you say, oh I don't have time. Oh I am not in mood. Oh my body is hurting. Oh the things were very noisy around the place where I live. Oh, there was some function. Oh, I was sick. So many excuses. Things change only then when you make the change happen. If you don't make the change happen, it won't happen just automatically like that. So do not blame the destiny. Do not blame your old samskaras alone. What about now? Why can't you change that now? Why don't you do it something about it now? Why are you waiting for some miracle to happen? 